8 Best Beaches in Key West Number 1 Smathers Beach Located on the south shore of Key West, Smathers Beach is the island's longest and most tranquil beach, where you'll find nearly two miles of white sand, palm trees, and a sea that barely seems to ripple. Each year, hurricanes sweep a good part of the sand away, so it needs to be replenished from the Bahamas, as local rumor has it. While you can swim, sunbathe, play volleyball, or snorkel, but don't expect to see any spectacular fish. There are facilities and vending trucks where you can purchase snacks and drinks. Access is free. This beach is ideal for a sedate day of sand and sun. Number 2 is Dog Beach Generally, dogs are not allowed on Key West's beaches, but there is a place where your pooch can frolic in the water too, Dog Beach. This 20-foot wide beach is not easy to find. It's at Waddell and Vernon, tucked away next to Louis's backyard. Visit this beach to give your canine companion a good time in the water. You'll find rocks, clumps, and seaweed on the small stretch, but that won't make a difference to your dog, just don't expect to have a swim yourself. Number 3 is Rest Beach located at the end of White Street. Rest Beach, also known as C.B. Harvey Park, is one of the smaller beaches in Key West. It's also rather narrow, but the sand is white and fine, and there are some picnic tables and benches around. At the end, you'll find the Edward B. Knight Pier, worth walking out on for a view of the Atlantic Ocean. The sunrises and sunsets from this beach are spectacular. If you don't fancy the crowds of the daily sunset celebration at Mallory Square, you could always head to Rest Beach instead. Number 4 is Clarence Higgs Memorial Beach Park Not far from Smathers Beach at the end of Reynolds Street, you'll find the Clarence Higgs Memorial Beach Park adjacent to the Waldorf Astoria Casa Marina Resort. Tropical vegetation surrounds the beach, which has fine, white sand and shallow waters. Number 5 is Fort Zachary Taylor Beach This beach, which forms part of a state park, is a paradise for divers and snorkelers. It's made up of ground coral and is part sandy and part rocky, so it's a good idea to have water shoes on hand. Admission costs $6, but parking is free. Completed in 1866, Fort Zachary Taylor provides a fascinating look back at the Civil War era. The beautiful brick arches were built by British and Irish craftsmen and the surrounding park features one of the nation's largest collections of Civil War armaments. Tours of the fort are available daily, but you'll need to book in advance and be accompanied by a ranger. Number 6 is South Beach as the name indicates, South Beach is located at the southernmost end of Key West, closest to Cuba. It's also at the end of the famous Duval Street. Not as long as Smathers Beach, but with very shallow water and fine, white sand, South Beach is a place to relax, swim, and work on your Florida tan. There are a few beach bars and restaurants, but no facilities. Eating and drinking on the beach is not allowed, but that's what the beach bars are for. Your grandkids will enjoy splashing in the water while you watch the world go by. Since this beach is at the end of Duval Street, if you come at night or early in the morning, you might find crowds of revelers who have done the Duval crawl and are quite tipsy. If you are one of them, South Beach is an ideal place to recover from a hangover, just don't take your beers with you. Number 7 is Sunset Key For a whiff of luxury, consider spending the day on Sunset Key, just 0.3 miles offshore from Key West. You will be taken by ferry to a resort with a private beach plus luxury cottages. It's worth splurging for a night at the resort, because that's the only way to get access to the exclusive, fabulous beach. Round it all out by making a reservation for lunch or dinner at the award winning Latitudes restaurant. Ocean breezes and a view of the Gulf of Mexico accompany cuisine that's always in season. The freshest fish, tropical fruit, cocktails, and more are on offer. Number 8 is Casa Marina Resort and Beach Higgs Memorial Beach Park is adjacent to the Casa Marina Resort and its beach. Consider a visit there, or even better, a stay for a night or longer. It's a Waldorf Astoria resort that features the only private beach on Key West. Established in the 1920s, Casa Marina offers beach fun, spa treatments, and fine dining with a good dose of history. You'll find pools within the resort and directly on the beach, water sports of all kinds, and an atmosphere of tranquility and luxury that's far from the noise of Duval Street. On the other hand, the resort isn't far from that area of Key West and all the Key's other attractions, including the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum, the Truman Little White House, the lovely Audubon House and Tropical Gardens, or, my favorite, the historic Conch Cottage, Key West's oldest building.